and I have not one, but two finished objects to share with you. So, I have this recently finished sweater and beret matching set, which I'm excited to tell you about. So let's start by talking about the pattern first. So I saw this pattern, which is called the Miss de Havilland. It's a free pattern on Ravelry, and I first saw it a pattern on Joanna of the Color Cauldrons podcast. She does a monthly featured called Saturday at Night at the Movies, which is um, usually a vintage movie. It's a feature about movies um, that it features some kind of fiber art. Sometimes it's knitting, sometimes it's embroidery, sometimes it's crochet, sometimes it's spinning. This time it was knitting. And the movie was with, um, this particular episode had a movie with Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers in it. And this was the sweater that she had paired. I really liked hers, so I thought I would knit mine. If you watched my last, um, FO finished object video, I had mentioned that I got a gift card to, um, Hershner's. My granny very graciously gave me a gift card to Hershner's. And so, at the same time I bought the yarn for my beauty school sweater, I bought the yarn for this sweater. So this pattern is free on Ravelry. It is a DK pattern. Um, so I went and ended up buying from Harshner's the Premier um, Anti-Pilling Everyday DK, because this is a DK weight pattern. Um, I bought this, I bought about five skeins of this in the colorway Taffy. And so I used three and cut into a little bit of my fourth skein um, to finish off the top of my beret. Um, this is a bottom up sweater. It has a really pretty peacock um, cast on. You can also do it on the sleeves, which I tried to block and get to start rolling, but apparently didn't work so hot. You also do a really pretty um, peacock bind off on the collar, and I've never done any of these before. They were relatively simple to um, learn and do. Um, and uh, after the peacock cast on, you do a round of, you do a couple rounds of ribbing, and then you do. There's a little bit of math involved, which I'm not a big fan of. I um, I like knitting. I don't like the math that's involved with knitting. So if I, if it tells me it's got the numbers already laid out for me, I like it that way. But you do have a little. There's math formula that you do for, in order for it to sit, fit your waist and bust size, and I think I did it correctly because um, for the most part I think it fits me really well. I did notice that I think I got my one of my sleeves a little deeper, it sits further out in on my neck and shoulder than this one does, and the collar is a little longer. Um, other than that, I think I got my math right, and it fits me really great, and I'm really happy with it. I think it's really cute. Um, it is a Raglan sweater, so once you knit from the bottom up and you get to like a certain point in the bust, you put it on hold and then you do the knit, you knit the sleeves and then you join them in a Raglan and then you do the collar. There is a three needle bind off under the arms and I think that might have been the first time I've done it, but I kind of left some gapping holes that I had to sew up so I wasn't extremely happy with that. Um, yeah, I think... It's a great sweater. I did have a little bit of a problem initially when I first started. I chose the wrong size um, and I had to uh, frog it back after I knit it to about here and it was just so big on me. I frogged it and I went with um, the second size in this pattern. I don't know if it's a small or medium, but um, I've, like the, the second size, the first one in parentheses, um, that's what I did. It is recommended that you wear this sweater with this brooch and it does to me pull the sweater down a little bit and create a funny ridge like that. You just saw it pulled it down, fixed it. Um, you wear, you can wear a brooch right here with the collar. Um, I thought I could wear it without the brooch too. Um, it is a V in the back as well, so this is mirrored on the back. Um, I think it's really cute. I can wear it with pants and I can wear it with a skirt. And so I had enough leftover yarn that I really wanted to knit a matching beret. So this is um, a, the classic French beret pattern. And for the most part, it is knit to the pattern, except for the beginning couple of rounds. Um, the pattern is a stocking net. It's like maybe inch of stocking net, and it just rolls, and I don't like that. So I just did the rib all the way for it. Um, but it's a really nice decrease. It's like a swirly pattern, and then you do the little acorn um, topper kind of thing. I think they're really cute, and they go well together. And I'm excited to wear them out in the world.
I am also working on some other sweaters and cardigans, so subscribe if you want to see those. I always am in the neighborhood for new patterns, so if you want to recommend any of those, I'd be happy to hear new pattern recommends. Um, so yeah, so thank you for watching and happy knitting! I feel like a 1930s starlet in this look. Godfrey put me in the shower! He loves me!